Um, this is um, where we lived in 1985, 3311 um, Ashwood Circle, where Christopher was taken. It was a corner home. Um, Christopher uh, slept in that bedroom right there, up on With the, the top. This sign right here, um, and you can see it. It said it's still linear. There's a sign here that still says neighborhood watch area, and that was that was there in 1985 on the corner. Can I zoom in? And um, um, Christopher's kidnapper. There were four cars parked out in front of the house. Um, I believe three were in the driveway and one was on the street. And so Christopher's kidnapper came up this way. And we believe that she entered the front door. Um, although there is speculation that she could have gone through a basement window, but my family believes that she entered the front door. There's a series of steps here that she had to go up. Um, in 1985, there was no screen door on the front here. She entered the house. And this is the entranceway. And this is the stairwell that had to, be, um, had to go up. There were no lights on in, in the hallway. So the intruder most likely had to know to go up these stairs. There was one bathroom that, door that she had to pass. And you can see there's three bedrooms doors at the end of the hallway. The bedroom to the right was my sister's bedroom. This bedroom here was my bedroom, straight ahead. And right next door, just a foot away, was my parents' bedroom. My parents believe that the, they remember leaving the door open that night. So the kidnapper walked into, here, into the room. And Christopher's crib was right here where this armoire was. Exactly right here. So there was a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps to get to the crib. My parents' bedroom sat in this corner right here, or their bed, excuse me. They had a water bed, and their water bed sat right here at the doorway, and it went, it was a, it was a king size water bed. It went right to here, to here, about right here. So, again, the kidnapper walked into the bedroom, took approximately seven steps picked my brother up from his crib and walked seven steps out down a hallway down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven steps and again there was no screen door here and out the front if you were to time how long, the door was left open, so it was not closed when she left the home. If you were to time how long it takes to walk up and down, I'll demonstrate that.